story. I'm Javier Mota. I'm, I'm here with uh, Will Nicholas from Tesla Motors, and uh, we're just driving the brand new Tesla 85D, the supercar from uh, Tesla Motors. Uh, how many horsepower again? It says 691 brake horsepower. 691, did you? I mean, that's not a typo. 691 for a car that starts around $105,000? 103. Yeah, that's. That's incredible. I mean, this the technology Tesla has been like ahead of the game in, in technology for electric cars for uh, a long time now, since they started pretty much. And this car is just like the maximum level of uh, what you can deliver for now, right? For now. In, for now. <laughs> I mean, the car is going to continue to improve through software updates, but in terms of hardware, this has our newest option, which is our dual motor, uh, that improves the speed, uh, the handling, um, and even the economy in some uh, portions of the car. Uh, we also have autopilot hardware on this vehicle, so lane departure detection, speed limit warnings, and soon adaptive cruise control and self-park will all be available on this model. Okay. Uh, like with all, like all the other models from Tesla, like the standard big screen and all that technology embedded into it, right? Indeed. So the 17-inch touchscreen remains, uh, and it still has all the applications like your navigation, your internet radio, uh, your voice commands that you know, people have grown accustomed to. I really like how simple everything is, like the design of it interior-wise. I mean, you don't have that many buttons, everything is more, pretty much controlled through the screen, right? Exactly. This, this user experience is you know, very similar to what you have in your smartphone or your tablet. Uh, and you know, we've done a lot of work to you know, measure how folks interact with it uh, to make it as convenient as possible. So you have full connection to the internet through here? Yeah, so, I mean, if you wanted to search for for instance, like the stock price today. Oh, okay. This car just has so much weight to it. You feel it's a bit heavier than the other car. Yeah, but that much power, I mean, really is incredible. Oh, it's, I mean, it's well balanced. Yeah, it's a 50-50 uh, weight yeah. distribution. And I mean, you're starting to see with all the supercars, La Ferrari, um, yeah, the, the, the 918 Spider. Indeed, so they all have these low slung battery packs with yeah. electric assist motors to I, generate all that torque right from zero. So here, we'll see here that we have uh, Model S Performance 85 dual motor. Um, so this is brand new out the box. Okay. We'll check our settings real quick just to see your suspensions and standard, which is probably good. Uh, creep will take off just because it gives you the full electric feel. Creep is, uh, what's that? Creep means that when you put the car into drive, yeah. it'll have a neutral stance versus oh, okay. starting to crouch forward if it were I a see. geared car. Um, this was actually one, some of the feedback that we received from our owners that they actually wanted it to you feel familiar it, yeah, like an yeah, yeah, automatic yeah. transmission. Uh, we'll keep the regenerative braking in standard. And you can see the acceleration. We have an insane. <laughs> I like that. So, so let's go. Let's do it. So, still quiet like the car we were just in. Just a bit so yeah, more. yeah. The, the big difference in this one then is like we have two engines um, or two motors, one per axle, right? Indeed. I mean, so if you just feather the accelerator here. Wow. And this is. <laughs> if we were to compare this uh, power with a regular car, what would this car compare to? What's like the equivalent horsepower? This has a brake horsepower of 691. Um, so I mean, you're, you're comparing this probably to Porsche Panamera, Porsche, Turbo Lamborghinis, S. like Ferrari, those kind of things. Indeed. I mean, this is uh, the fastest production sand ever built. Uh, there's just someone who posted. Um, kind of a casual race with a Ferrari 575 and smoked it. So, I mean, it's great that you can get a car that can take your family uh, on a road trip, being the safest car ever built, and it competes with that there supercars. <laughs> So much power, you feel it really pushes you back. Oh, yeah. And handling, like, really, really good too. Like, extremely short footed. 
because the dual motor is independently working, um, they're able to transfer uh, energy between the two. And I mean, I think the result is that this car grips the pavement like nothing else. It's not like a racetrack, but like yeah. it's rough. Like yeah. there's a little bit like a handling. Wow, so we're going up and still like going like 65, like in nothing. <laughs> like, so the official number is zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds? 3.2 seconds, that's correct. And you're actually feeling a full G of acceleration in that acceleration. So while you're going from not to 60, you're getting a full G into the back of the seat. Amazing. So this uh, B85D? Correct. What's uh, what's the price the price for this car? The car starts at one hundred and three thousand. Again, before any tax. Oh, wow. Very cheap for what what the performance we're talking about. Like when you compare like to a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or anything like that with that kind of power. Absolutely. You're talking at least twice as much. You might as well, so you might as well get two of these versus exactly. one Ferrari. <laughs> He's and hairs. Exactly. It's uh, and I think that people it, it has such wide appeal because we have folks that are interested in the performance, in the dual motor traction for northern climates, uh, certainly for the safety, for the technology, for the environmental impact. So a lot of folks that are interested in the car for many different reasons. So the extra power to the engines, but it, and it has an, an extra motor for, for uh, its axle. Does that take away a little bit from the range? In this performance car, yes. We'll get like 250 miles of range versus 265. Oh, oh, okay. It's not that much, really. Not really, and that's just because well, you get back. Indeed, and uh, we are coming out with a dual motor option for our 85 kilowatt hour pack that doesn't have that sport tuned uh, drive inverter, and it'll actually increase the amount of autonomy in range. So we're expecting more than 265 miles of charge yeah. on that model. So you were mentioning that this one has a uh, different uh, driving mode, so we're going insane. If we go to sport, what, what happens there? Essentially, it just kind of limits the torque, so if you hit it right now, Oh, still a lot. It's still, still <laughs> fast. It's just, it doesn't really drain the blood from your mind like the other car does. Oh, excellent. So this car is already in production, and uh, you've been receiving orders, or what's what's going on with it? Indeed, we announced this uh, on October 9th. Uh, we've been taking orders since then, and we just started making our first deliveries this past week. I see the same case with the model as the regular model S, in which there's like a two to three month uh, waiting list. Indeed, I'd say if you're ordering a car now, you'd probably be getting it sometime in February. Okay. So people should have ordered in October to get it for Christmas. <laughs> I, exactly. And, and we do have kind of a, a rush of folks that come in at the end of the year because uh, you do achieve the federal tax credit on a calendar year basis. Uh -huh. So if you take delivery before December 31st, you can claim that. You get the most, the most benefit from it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so you have the parking sensors here, so yeah. they'll start chirping at you soon. And so you'll see here, keep going. So you'll actually see, keep going. Oh. And it'll back down to the inches of what you're... Oh, that's really good. I've yeah. never seen that before. Yeah. So you more or less have a better idea of where you're going. Exactly. Excellent. So now to turn it off. We just get out. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't do anything? No. <laughs> Amazing. It's easy. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Will, and uh, we're going to enjoy the here for a little while. Unfortunately, we're not in the Autobahn in Germany where we can really <laughs> enjoy the whole speed and power of the car, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be enjoying it anyway. Sounds good. Thank you. Nice seeing you out here.